Molly. My name is Molly, former resident at the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft. Welcome to my studio and department. First off, let me introduce you to my fur babies, Hosmer and Gordo. Hey guys, what's up? Hosmer follows me everywhere. Gordo does her own thing. So I am a fiber artist, among many other things, but this is my beautiful loom. It is an eight harness Herald loom. It is um, much, much older than I am. I have had it for five or six years, I think. I bought it when I was in grad school. It served me well. Plants, I love my plants. I'm usually propagating something. Most of these plants I have started from other plants. Recently upholstered my weaving bench with, of course, hand-woven fabric. And what I've got on the loom right now is a Swedish pattern called Halvdral. It's an overshot and I'm doing some inlay work. I plan to finish that today. I've got a small pot collection. And by small pot collection, I mean they are small pots, not that it's a small collection. One of the things I love about having my studio in the apartment is that I am surrounded by all of this artwork that I have collected from my friends over the years. So it serves as a lot of inspiration, also makes my space really homey. Got some of my own work on display, like this one, and the maggots in the background there. And then you can see my recent acquisition is a record player. Most of my records I have inherited from my mother and my grandmother, so a lot of 70s and 50s, lots of jazz. Right now we've got Lou Davies and his orchestra and my reflection. Hey guys. I love jazz, love most music. Um, I'm usually burning incense. As you can see, my incense actually just finished. And since my space is so small, I've made everything be sort of convertible. So for instance, uh, this is my screen printing board here, which is lots of finished screen prints draped over it. Here you can see what's in progress now. So I have a piano stand that I set up and then set the board on top of that. So then when I'm done, I can fold up the stand and put the board away. The board also serves to sort of cover, cover up some of the um, more cluttered parts of the shelf. I've got a wood pile over here for all my sculptural work. Books, mostly environmental things. Um, craft and art theory, dystopian fiction, and Mars. That's how I would summarize the books that I read. And the desk space. It's big enough that I can have lots of things going on at once. So I did clean it up a little bit before I took this video. It is usually quite a bit messier. Some embroidery that I've got happening. And I like to display things that are inspiring to me, just that I like to look at, right? I set this space over here up as a drawing space. So my walls are textured, so I put up a piece of chipboard and tape my drawings to it and can work on a smoother surface while also standing. And of course, more shelf space, more yarn, more books, relaxing cat. And then as we turn, we can see the kitchen, which is somewhere I spend a lot of time with my husband. We love to cook. And we got a couch. More books, more art. Door to the outside. My husband's space. And then we circle back around to the loom. Did I mention that I put my loom on wheels? Check that out, I can roll it out anywhere. Cool, thanks for watching.